Hi! Good day! Welcome to Science Colum. And for today's lesson, we are going to discuss about the basic concept of force. Explain the balance and unbalanced forces. And lastly, we will also calculate the net force acting on an object. To introduce the concept of force, look at this illustration. As you can see, the ball is placed on top of a table. Is this object at rest or in motion? Yes, the object on top of the table is not moving. Will this object move by itself? When will it move? Or how can we make it move? Yes, by pulling or pushing. Now, look at this next illustration. As you can see, the object is moving. How can we make it move faster, move slower, change its direction, or stop? What common thing did you do on the object to make it move, stop, or change its speed? Aha! That's right! The object can be made to move, stop, or change its speed or direction by pushing or pulling. The pushing or pulling is pertaining to the word force that causes the object to move, stop, or change its direction. In physics, a force is anything that makes an object accelerate. Force is measured by Newton or capital letter N, named after Sir Isaac Newton, the proponent of laws of motion. Forces occur in pairs and they can be either balanced or unbalanced. Balance forces. When can we say that the forces are balanced? We can say that the forces are balanced when two forces acting on an object are equal in size but are opposite in direction. Balance forces do not cause a change in motion. For example, the vase is resting on the table. It is not moving. Therefore, the forces must be balanced. The gravitational force and the table's upward force are equal and in opposite direction. Unbalanced forces we can say that the forces are unbalanced when two forces are acting on an object and are not equal in size. Unbalanced forces cause a change in motion by changing the object's speed or direction. For example, the man and the parachute are slowly falling to the ground. The forces acting on the parachute are air resistance and the gravity. Gravity is bigger force than the air resistance. We can tell this because the direction of movement of the man and the parachute is the same as the direction of the force of gravity. Since the forces are not equal in size, the forces is said to be unbalanced. Another example of unbalanced forces is the tug of war. The tug of war doesn't have the same amount of people on each side. So the forces are unequal and one side will be moved more than the other. Now, let's move on to our next topic on how to calculate the net force acting on an object. But before that, let us define net force. Net force is the overall force or total amount of force acting on an object. It is the combination of the magnitude and direction. For example, 5 newton to the right. 
5 newton is the magnitude. And the word to the right is the direction. Again, the net force is the combination of magnitude 5 newton and direction to the right. Now, if there is a net force acting on an object, the force is said to be unbalanced. For example, in the tug of war, the net force is 6 newton to the left. As you can see, the forces are not equal in size and are in opposite directions. When the direction is opposite, all we have to do is subtract the numbers. So 10 newton minus 4 newton is equal to 6 newton to the left. The direction here will go to the left side. Why? Because it has greater force than the right side. Another example of unbalanced forces is a girl pushes 30 newton to the right and a boy pulls 25 newton to the right. The net force here will be 55 newton to the right. Why 55 newton to the right? It is because if the forces are moving in the same direction, all you have to do is add the forces. And since the piano moves to the right, therefore, the direction will be to the right side. Let's try another example. If there are two people trying to get this box full of money, who ends up with it? What's your answer? Very good. The answer is John Lloyd because he exerted more force than Kenneth. Now, if the net force is zero and the motion of an object is not moving or there is no change in motion, we can say that the force is balance. For example, paper on desk. Another, you in the chair. Ball on the table. To check your understanding, let's try to calculate the following net force. And now, let's identify which of the following is balance and unbalanced force. Congratulations! For finishing this lesson. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and share this video to your friends. See you on our next videos!